These are, this is uh, my friend's garden here. And he let us borrow a couple of rows here. Wow, look at the weeds coming up already, guys, huh? Yeah. We've got 80 Roma tomatoes here. 80 of them. So, uh, I got them in here tight, but that's okay. I got two long rows here. And uh, I got a walkway in the middle. That's it. And these are his tomatoes. He's got okay. strawberries, asparagus. He's got a strawberry patch. He's got asparagus. The roosters are crowing. We've got our 80 Romas in over here. We're going to be making a lot of sauce. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's got a potato field over here. That's his potatoes. He's got his peppers over here. Let's go see the roosters, guys. Okay. And we've got all types of uh, fruit trees over here. He's got peaches. He's got pears. He's got Cortlands, apples, all types of stuff here. Cool, cool farm. He's got... Uh, Blueberry bushes over here. Blueberries. Blueberries. They got raspberries, peppers, onions. Uh, that's his potato field. Okay, there's a lot of flies here, guys. Let's go check out the chickens. Okay? Maybe we can grab some eggs, Ash. I'm getting eaten alive. Okay, we're getting eaten alive. Look, look at the head on them. <laughs> All right. Tom, when we go home, we'll make some. Uh, Chicken, chicken fricassee. Yeah, what do you guys want to have for dinner tonight? Uh, Tom, what? do you want some chicken cacciatore tonight? What do you want? That one's giant. Huh? <laughs> That's the rooster, Tom. Yeah, I know. Be nice to them now. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got another another garden over here. We got rabbits up on the hill. All right, guys, let's. We're gonna head out. This is our uh, tomatoes. We gotta take care of over here. Okay, guys, let's roll. There's a lot of flies out today. Rock and roll, baby. See ya. <laughs> Bold D's back in the farm. We got some rabbit traps over here, too. Uncle's trying to catch some rabbits because they're wreaking havoc over here. And uh, he made some traps. But there's so much food around that... Uh, there's so much food around that... Dad, uh, you have mosquitoes on you. I don't care. Let them bite. Yeah, they do. Hey, folks. We're out of here. Okay, folks, we're going to head up to the upper garden here real quick. The roosters are crowing. The rabbit cages are set. We've got uh, beehives over here. Caution, keep out. Bees, honey bees. We've got a couple of hives over there. Okay, and we've got some more fruit trees here. What else do we have, Tom? We've got broccoli over here. Broccoli, cabbage. All types of stuff here. Great stuff. Basil. Grapevines, basil. Okay, that's the uh, little tour of the farm here. A friend of mine gave me a couple of long rows there for our Roma tomatoes, so that's going to help our sauce production in the fall. So it's okay, hon. All right, let him bite, hon. It's all right. Relax. All right, folks. See ya. Ciao. Okay, folks. I'm going to start to plant now. It's just way too much work here. These are the uh, big mamas for the sauce. Okay, they're long and lanky. A little too long, actually, but we gotta get them in the ground, so. Here's how we're doing it. Just gonna give, give you a quick idea how we're doing it here. I've got these really close, about a foot and a half apart. Normally, you want these four feet apart, but with limited space here, I'm just gonna make a wall of tomatoes going down like I did last year. Foot, foot and a half a piece I had them. It worked out beautiful. And then the center ones, we can space them four, four feet apart. Yeah, in all directions so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my plant get it in the ground we're gonna bury them deep I'm gonna water the hole right now so the water gets right to the root and then I'm gonna fill it in with the dirt and uh, I'm gonna cage the first one the second one I'm not gonna cage the third one I'm gonna cage then every other one I'm gonna cage and then when the middle center ones grow up we can just tie them to the sides of each cage so you'll see how we rock and roll here okay we'll take a picture when we're done and That'll be about it. Okay, my niece is going to take care of the garden here and water it. And we'll be back in September to uh, reap the benefits. Okay, so uh, I've got some uh, miracle grow here. I'm going to put some in each hole to get them started. And that's it. Okay, folks, I'm just going to give you a quick idea of how I'm doing this again. It's uh, getting really hot out here, so... I'm going to... 
get these in the ground rather quickly. So, I'll show you how we rock here. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna cage every other one. Cage this one. This one, there'll be no cage. I'll cage this one. Then as this one grows in between the cages, we'll tie it off to that. Plus I got the fence in the back, so. Normally these, you want your plants four feet apart in all directions, but I'm making a line here row. It worked out for me last year. I'm gonna do it again, so. We've got some miracle Grow here mix. Uh, you wanna take a pot full of that. Set that aside. Take your plant, give it a little dunk. A little dunk will do you. Throw them in the hole. Okay, water your hole, water your root. Okay, so now that's really soaking up the fluids. Okay, just so that it doesn't... And I'm burying these deep because uh, they're very long and lanky, so... There's uh, no problem getting them deep. Then you just dump your dirt in after. Okay, and they're all watered. Water's going directly to the root. I'm going to do them all the way down. And uh, we'll show you when I'm done here. Rock and roll, baby. Okay, folks, we've got a new technique going here. We're digging holes, we're letting them lay in the, filling the holes up with the uh, water and the uh, miracle Grow. Let them soak, and uh, we're putting our piles right next to the hole so I don't have to keep digging it out of the bucket. This way it's gonna go a lot faster. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up this last row here and uh, get them planted. Tomorrow I'll finish the rest of the garden. It's uh, way too hot out. Okay, you gotta wear shorts in this type of weather, so. I'll be making my own shorts today. Oh shit. So uh, I'm gonna tip rip those off. We're gonna go up in the pool over there. Robbie! What? Fill this up with water, bro. Here, the miracle grows right there, Rob. Here, five scoops in there. There's five gallons and turn the water on behind the boat. Fill it up to the top and bring it down. Five scoops? Yep, five scoops of that and then fill it up to the turn the water on behind the boat and fill up the bucket with the hose right there. See it? Big side? Yeah, that's good. Five of them. One, two, three, four, five. Bing, bang, boom. That's it. Manhandle it. That a boy. How old are you? 12, Robbie? 14. 14, 6, 2. How much? 225? No. He's a big boy. You're going to be on the Red Sox someday. All right. Rock and roll, Rob. He's a big boy. Okay, he's my new. Okay, folks, we've got 40 big mamas in. Okay, they're all flopped over. These are gonna look sad for about a week, but they'll come back. Okay, once they set root, they're gonna grow big. They're indeterminate, so they're just gonna keep growing. These are gonna be tall, big, healthy plants. They have kind of weird leaves. They, they look all shriveled up, even when they're healthy, but uh, they produce huge uh, sauce-making tomatoes. And uh, we've got a little hole here. I don't know, some type of hole. I dropped the plant in and it disappeared, so... Some type of gopher hole there. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out later. We'll get the 44 mag on him over there, Ash. Right, honey? When he shows his face, we'll make possum pie out of him. All right, that's how we're going to rock and roll. All right, Rob, we all set there, bud? Yeah. All right, thanks for your help, guys. That's it. We're going to plant the rest tomorrow. It's too hot out. We're going to... Uh, Go home and uh, check on our, uh... yeah, I know, honey. Daddy got a uh, tan knee, wounded knee. Okay, let's go. You ready, Rob? <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Uh, let's see, we got our tomato plants in. Ash, did you see those roosters over there? Yeah. At, at the farm, that was cool, huh? Did you like that big rooster? Did you know about the old lady from Worcester, Ash? She was terribly annoyed by a rooster. She cut off his head until he was dead, and now he don't crow like he used to. <laughs> How do you like that one? Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's uh, get the rest of these in. Then we gotta go home, plant our tomatoes, Ash. Yeah. And we'll be all done, right? That's it. Let them grow. That a girl. Great job, Ash. All right, honey, let's rock and roll, baby. Come on. All right, so these are our beefsteak tomatoes, the eating tomato plants. We're going to put our cut ring uh, rings on, watering rings, whatever you want to call them. They're good for the cut worms also. Get your plastic on the outside, set it down in there about an inch. Right, Ash? And we're going to cage these guys. Okay, we're going to stick our cage down on them. You can wait a 
couple of weeks to do this, but I like to do it early. Then you can just pull the leaves through as they get bigger. Like that, right, Ash? Uh -huh. and then we can grab a steak after and uh, probably put it to the outside of the hole, like so. Drive it down. If you don't have a, a lot of power in your arms, you can use a hammer. But I drive it down about two feet, just with raw brute strength. Actually, that was about three feet, Ash, huh? Okay, and then you're gonna just uh, either tie wrap that on there like so, and we'll be all set. Can you see the plant down there, Ash? Uh -huh. As it grows, we'll put it through the loops and we'll use our styrofoam to, styrofoam things that we used last year, yeah. to tie them to the cage, okay? So that's about it, folks. Enjoy your garden this year and uh, we'll be back when the tomatoes start coming. Right, Ash? Yep. Did you like that saying with the rooster, honey? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> You're a doll. Okay. All right, Ash, mix it up, honey. Atta girl, atta girl. All right, let's just show them what we got here. Okay, all the cages are in. Uh, we've got our uh, stakes to the right of our plants here, okay, because we're going to be bringing our hose in from this direction, so when we walk up our aisle, the... Uh, Rods will kind of protect, be like a hose protector as we uh, run up the line. Then the one on the end here, I kind of put it on the outside edge in case we have to turn the corner here with the hose to get some of these. And then the same when we come down the next row. The last one, I just kind of put it towards the uh, outside edge there as a hose protector. Okay, so uh, yeah, there's that big hole there. It's a gopher hole or something. Watch your step. Okay. This one here, I saw a ghost. He's all uh, flipping out. He's uh, wigging out there, whatever. Okay, everything's in. Our cages for the uh, big mamas, they don't have stakes because we're just gonna tie them off to the fence here, like so. Okay, and we did it every other one. When the tomato comes up in the center, we're gonna tag them off in between each, uh, yeah. each plant. Okay, that's it. We get some mint over here. That's it. That's a wrap, Ash. We got our zucchini in over here. I, I did. I just wanted that. Okay, that's great, Ash. Good job, hon. Okay, that's a yellow squash, and then we have three zucchini plants. They need lots of room, so they need like five feet around to uh, spread their wings. Okay, and then we crowded some uh, basil in over here. Three and three. Hopefully, we're gonna have like three, two big bushes here of basil. Gently water those, Ash. That a girl. That's it, hon. Great job, honey. All right, that's it, folks. Uh, we're going to head home. It's, late, it's uh, Memorial Day weekend. It's Monday. And uh, we're headed home. We have uh, another dozen plants to do at home. And that's it. I don't want to see any more tomato plants. I'm done. I just want to pick the tomatoes, and that's it. Okay, enjoy, folks. Hope you learned a little something anyways. We're having fun here, and uh, that's it. We're going to go home and cook some uh, short ribs. If I have any uh, disc space left, I'll videotape it. Okay, ciao, baby. Say ciao, Ash. Ciao. Ciao, Francesco. Okay. Over and out. <laughs>